Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I'm a coupon coach and I'm here to help you save money by shopping with a purpose. Today we are doing a combination video. We are going to CVS and Walgreens in one video. The reason is there is not that many deals of things that I need because over here on my channel, Chris the Maximizer, my channel, my company, my mission, my purpose is to tell you to buy what you need, to help you get the things that you and your family needs without paying full price. And as I've gone through the CVS and the Walgreens ad, I'm like, self, what do we need? I pulled up the things that we need and it's really not enough to do two separate videos. So we're gonna give you one video with CVS and Walgreens. So I do have printable breakdowns for both stores. I will leave them linked down in the description box. What I do is on my clipboard, I go through and I write what are the deals that I'm gonna get at each store. And coming soon will be my breakdown notebook where you'll have a notebook, a place where you can write down all your breakdown is all your deals that you plan to do in one space. And you don't have to use a crazy clipboard and tons of sheets of paper and print out all your stuff. You'll be able to write everything on your breakdown because from my research I found people like to write their breakdowns more than they like to type them. So let me know down in the comments. Do you like to write or type? If you like to write, the breakdown notebook is going to be for you. So what I did was I did CVS, I did Walgreens. What do I want to get? First up, CVS. We're going to go to CVS first because I only want two things there. We're going to grab the General Mills cereal. They're on sale for $1.99 a box and we have a $1 off two manufacturer coupon in the app. We have no cinnamon toast crunch in the house, so we need to get that. And then Tide Pods, uh, they are $4.94. I have a $2 coupon. It's gonna make them $2.94, which is about $3. But my family, Bay, they really like Tide Pods, so whenever I can get them for three, two, three dollars, I'm gonna get them. I do have $2.30 worth of gift cards that I'm gonna use up. I have $4 in extra bucks that I'm going to use. So honestly, I probably only have to pay like $1 of my own money, but we'll see at the register. That's gonna be super exciting. And then at Walgreens, there's a couple things I wanna grab. Cereal again, the cereal at Walgreens is even cheaper. It's $1.88. So we're gonna grab two of those boxes and they're gonna come out to $1.39, 37 cents each, which is great again. We need cereal, so I'm just gonna front load and get four boxes, and then as the cereal deals come again, I'll get more. I'm gonna check for clearance. I've seen people get a ton of laundry clearance. Drive out into the county and check a couple Walgreens to see if they have any clearance. If they have laundry clearance, I'm giving myself like $10 to go crazy with clearance. Um, I'm gonna grab us one toilet paper and one paper towels. I always like to add them to our stockpile when needed. And then the chips, the Doritos and the Lay's, they're three for six, which makes them $2 each which is better than Walmart, so I'm gonna grab us chips. Um, I'm gonna check the Colgate Max Fresh. There's a Colgate deal, it may be a money maker, but it depends on the size restrictions. And then I'm gonna check the Barilla Pasta. I don't think we have any pasta, we may have one box of pasta. If they come out to 99 cents a box or less, I will go ahead and grab those. So over at Walgreens, I don't plan to spend more than about 12 to $15. But if there's clearance, it'll probably be closer to 25 because I'm gonna load up and give myself $10 for clearance. So if you're ready to see my CVS and my Walgreens hauls, then just keep on watching. First up, the Walgreens. Okay guys, we are in the beautiful store and it is like beautiful. I don't even have other words to say besides it. So we are gonna grab one toilet paper and one paper towels. And we're going to be using our Walgreens IVC booklet. I keep one inside of my store accordion. And again, with this uh, IVC booklet coupon, you can use it all month long. So let me pull it out. And as you can see, this is good until April 24th. It's usually like on one of the first pages. But I go here and it says Scott's page 12. We're gonna go to page 12. All right, so as you can see, we got $1.25 off paper towels and $1.25 off toilet paper. It's gonna make them $3.75 each. And I'm also gonna check my Walgreens app because sometimes they're nice to us and they give us a manufacturer coupon. I didn't see one, but I'm just gonna scan just in case one is in there. So let me scan it, see if it'll be nice to us. Oh, there is a 50 cents manufacturer coupon. So I'm gonna add that in. Ooh, let's scan the paper towels and see if there's one for the paper towels too. Let's scroll down. No, not one for the paper towels, just one for the toilet paper. So we're gonna get the toilet paper for 325 and we're gonna get one paper towels for 375. Got the child back. Say hi. hi. 
Okay, because everyone's been looking for you. <laughs> Y'all, I just love this Walgreens. It's just so beautiful, and they just have so much. I don't know where everything is in here. Okay, this is seasonal. We got to go this way. Um, And I see a lot of clearance tags. And look at this. They are full up. We weren't even in the toilet paper and paper towel. Like, this store just makes me want to shop. Like, it's beautiful. They have a nice little itty-bitty clearance section. I see lots of clearance tags. I'm going to check to see if they have some of that super cheap clearance. You ain't getting nothing anyway. Um, Here's the snacks. But I'm supposed to be looking for the cereal. So Maxwell House is a good deal if you need coffee. Also, these Dunkin' Donuts coffees that are on sale for $4.99. Those are a good deal. But we came here for the cereal. So we are going to grab two General Mills. They are $1.88 each. We have a $1 off two coupon. So Kinsley, you can get two boxes of Cinnamon Post Crunch. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, we have a one dollar off too. It's only on Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Cheerios, so we need Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Get two of them. Okay, so that's what we're gonna get. And let me check. Uh, oh no, that's all. Awesome. That's all General Mills. I was trying to see if um, the Kellogg's was on sale, but it's not. But it's the family size. We ain't getting that. So um, let's keep going. I do want to check on the pasta because oh here it is and great they don't have any so the pasta is buy one get one free they have the ready pasta but that's gonna be a dollar 25 cents per pack too much for me to pay but this one would have been buy one get one free it would have been a dollar 10 cents mm, probably could have swung it because it's a pound of pasta the other needles that they had they don't have so we want to get those but that was um 219 making them a dollar 10 cents each now the parmesan cheese and the prego are also buy one get one free and the way we find out if this is a good deal is we're going to open the walmart app and we are going to see how much they are at walmart so half of this will be 150 plus 15 165 each is what they're going to come out to be here if we were to buy them i think we're, we go to pasta sauce too but we're going to scan at walmart and see how much one is a dollar 88 cents so we're going to be saving about 20 cents getting it at walgreens so if you need pasta sauce that could be a good deal and if you have registered rewards on my walgreens cash that will be a good deal too um and then for the parmesan cheese over here these are going to be like 265 each oh that's a good deal y'all and my walmart they're 348 so they're almost a dollar cheaper to get the grated parmesan cheese i feel like i should get this I'd be liking this Parmesan cheese. Um, but now I'm going to pass on it. They do have the Idaho potatoes for a dollar. But it's a small. It's only four ounces. They be cooking these. Let's see how much these are at Walmart. Because you can see they're three for three. So it makes them a dollar each. Let's see how much they are here. And I compare everything to Walmart, y'all. They're a dollar at Walmart too. So it's no different. It's just if you have my walgreens cash or register rewards to use i say get them at walgreens and use your register rewards or my walgreens cash to reduce that price the ketchup this is the other one i want to do so the ketchup is 4.99 buy one get one free we're really good on ketchup we don't need any but let's just check to see how much it is at the walmart so 32 ounces of ketchup is 278 so it's gonna be like 265 here no 250 so yeah, you're going to save 28 cents by getting it at Walgreens. So if you need ketchup, that's a good deal to do. All right, now we're going to really keep going this time. All right, Doritos are three for six. So we're going to get a spicy nacho, a cool ranch, and a regular nacho cheese. This is a good deal because I believe at Walmart they're 250. But again, we're going to pull up the Walmart app and scan it. And someone asked me, why do I always do it compared to walmart because if i can't get things at cvs or walgreens we get it from walmart walmart's typically typically not always but typically the lowest price so i like to use that as my threshold they are 272 at walmart so to get them for two dollars each great deal okay i'm gonna skip this laundry soap for now but until april 24th our 28 ounces is a dollar and 99 cents y'all and that is a good price because usually we pay 99 cents for 10 ounces 
so to get 28 ounces for $1.99 is great but I think these were the ones that were on clearance that I've seen people like talking about but I don't think the Walmart Walmart I don't think the Walgreens ad shows clearance I could have swore it was these that were on clearance that I saw people posting yeah it says it's not supported y'all I feel like that's the one that's on clearance I feel like I need to go ask at the register but then they're gonna be like I don't know I'm gonna double check but I'm pretty sure it was those and they were like 20 cents or something ridiculous but let me check okay so we need sponges and I was gonna get them at Walmart but here they are two for five and at Walmart they're 264 so I'm gonna be saving 14 cents per pack for six sponges so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this deal again the name of this game is to always get what we need all right maximizers here's our haul of the things that we actually need so we're getting the scotch products they're five dollars we're getting the scotch bite sponges because we really need those they are two for five cereal is a dollar 88 cents each and these doritos chips are three for six so i'm going to use my walgreens transaction breakdown it is linked in the description box you guys can use it pretty soon it's going to be out in notebook form so let me know you know that in the comments if you're excited to have a breakdown planner so i write everything down all the items with the price scott's is 10 sponges are five the cereals 376 and the chips are six dollars that brings our total to $27.76 before tax. This is not gonna be a super low out of pocket. Why? Because we're getting things that we need and these are typically not things that you can get for free. That's just being real, but I'm paying less than I would pay if I went to Walmart. So for coupons, we're gonna use the $1.25 IVC booklet coupons. You can see I have the digital paper towel one, but I have my um, booklet for the toilet paper so I can scan the paper or the digital doesn't matter it's just that the digital goes away after you use it and the paper one you can use all month long so we have a dollar and 25 cents off of each one of the scots then we have a dollar off of the cereal right here we have an extra 50 cents off the toilet paper so we'll have that and then we have i think that's it y'all i think that's everything yep that's all the coupons we got today so after all those coupons we're going to end up paying 23 dollars 76 plus tax at the register and i'm okay with paying that we're getting toilet paper for 325 paper towels for 375 chips for two dollars per bag cereal for a dollar and 38 cents each and we're getting these scotch brights for 250 versus 270 something at walmart all right so we're going to head to the register. If you have questions, let me know. And when I get back home from Walgreens and CVS, I will share with you if there's any hiccups or things that goes wrong at the register. All right. So I came back over here to record for TikTok. But look at this. The Lay's chips, these Doritos, they are two for 360. And it's the small bags. These are 2.34 ounces. When all you have to do is go over here and bam, these big eight and a half ounces are three for six dollars so pay a free contention even these big old giant bags of cheetos over here are two for seven and i don't know if they are over there in that in that deal over there but like why would you ever they are they're a part of that right in that corner two for 360 why would you ever buy two small bags when you can buy three of these bags and then heck go buy the storage bags and you still would make out and then you can make little bags of cheetos from there but Pay attention to the tags, y'all, and always, 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 I say it all the time, do the math. Okay, CVS time. <laughs> all right, so we are here at CVS. This store is never tagged. There's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch right there. We're here to grab two more boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch because we are completely out. And they are $1.99 each. She's talking about she want Honey Nut Cheerios, but I don't think they include it. You can get one of them. Put, put one Cinnamon Toast Crunch back and get one Cheerios the small box let me make sure the coupon works for it okay let me scan it and then CVS when you scan the barcode it'll tell you if the coupon works yep one dollar off two and this coupon works for Cheerio cinnamon toast crunch and lucky charm so put that in there one of two things we came in here to get and the other thing we came in here to get is gonna be the Tide pods and I'm gonna check I think I saw some toilet paper clearance, so we're going to see. It was a brand of toilet paper that was uh, ringing up on clearance, so let's see. Okay, so we're going to get one pack of Tide Pods. We're going to get the 16 count. So we're going to get them to open this up, and we're going to get them for $2.94, and that's all we get. And did it work? 
that's all we're getting y'all and then we're getting out of here because there's nothing else that we need but we're gonna go to 16 pack it's gonna cost us like three bucks 2.94 and like i said i have almost three dollars in gift cards to use and i have four dollars in extra bucks so that's it that's all i'm gonna do my breakdown once uh i'll do my uh tally up once we get this and i'll let you guys know how much we're spending at the register and this is really buying what you need shopping with a purpose we came in we did two deals we're getting out that's it that's all okay maximizers here's our small but mighty haul we're getting our 199 cereal and our 494 tide pods our total is going to be 892 for both of them after our two coupons the one dollar off two cereal the two dollar off tide pods our total is going to be five dollars and 92 cents i have one two dollar extra buck i'm going to roll i have another but i'm going to save that one for next week and i still have my ten dollar care pass we're going to have a total of $3.92. I have $2.30 left of Blues gift cards to use. Unfortunately, CVS is not back on Flues. As soon as it is, I will be the first to let y'all know. I've been checking literally every day, twice a day. I'm just waiting for it to come back to the app. But after that $2.30 in gift cards, I just have to pay $1.62. And we have cash to pay for that. I'm not getting any rewards or anything back, but I'm getting what we need. These are $1.49 a box, and this is going to be $2.94. Okay? So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll let you guys know how everything goes when we get back home. All right, Maximizers, we're back home from CVS and Walgreens, and this is our haul. We'll do CVS first because it was super small. So we got the Honey Nut Cheerios, we got one thing of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and we got the Thai Puds. A small but mighty haul, just getting what we needed. And as you can see here, we got Cheerios, one Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and one Thai Puds. All of our coupons came off. We had a $2 off Tide, $1 off cereal, and a $2 extra buck. Brought our subtotal down to $3.92, just as we expected. I used my last bit of gift cards. So in the end, your girl only paid a dollar and some change. Does it even show how much I exactly paid? Yeah, I paid like a dollar and 92 cents for everything. That was it. That was all. We saved a total of 79%, which I'll take. I got my $1 extra buck, which was from my winter spending, which is great. And then I got a bunch of CRTs, most of which I probably won't use. So the cereal comes out to $1.49 each. Tide Pods come out to $2.94. At Walgreens, we got everything else. The paper towels, the toilet paper, the sponges that we really needed, the Doritos, and then two boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So here's our receipt here. Um, you can see we got the Doritos for $2 each. We got the Scotch Bright for 5 Cereal was $3.76. And then we got the two Scots for $5. And our $0.50 cents coupon for our Scots came off as well. Okay? And our $1 off too. So our subtotal was $20.76. With tax, we only paid $21.66. Let's see how much we saved over here at Walgreens. We saved 47%. Not quite 50%, but still good. And we earned $0.22 cents in my Walgreens cash. So overall great days awesome the only thing i didn't check for is i need to check to see if there is any ibotta rebates for this i pretty much checked for everything else but if there is an ibotta rebate i will pop it up here on the screen so if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments if you're like crystal love the way you shop i want to shop like you come join my money saving academy it's my monthly membership community where i show you how to save up to 300 dollars. where i show you how to save up to 300 dollars every single month to buy what you need and then take that money to actually make progress on your big financial goals so come join the money saving academy if you want to learn how to shop like me and shop with a purpose if you have any questions about this haul please let me know down in the comments i want to thank you guys so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you please go watch one of my previous haul videos and let the ads play through that really helps me here on the channel youtube is not suggesting my videos like they used to so if you could go watch a few videos that will really really help us out all right so again thank you guys so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you stay safe out there as you are shopping and as always please like share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video